Brace yourself for an adrenaline-fueled ride with Deadpool and Wolverine, the ultimate superhero showdown that's set to shatter expectations. Feel the thrill of anticipation as the invincible Wolverine and the insane Deadpool team up. Promising an explosion of action, humor, and heart, this isn't just a movie, it's a collision of legends that will leave you breathless, laughing, and craving more. Get ready for a cinematic experience that will ignite your passions and redefine heroism. Are you prepared to be blown away? I'm super excited for this movie to come out because I love Deadpool and I love Wolverine. And Deadpool is such a great character because he's insane. He's an assassin, he's also a superhero sometimes, and he's a bad guy sometimes, and he says whatever the heck he wants to say, no filter whatsoever. And then Wolverine, what, what can we say about Wolverine? Wolverine is just a kick-ass type of guy. He has that mantium, strong, you know, all these types of things. So I'm loving the fact that we've already seen scenes of them practicing their fights before this trailer came out. So I know this is going to be crazy. But when this trailer opens up, you see Wade Wilson in his regular form, showing his burnt skin, walking around, you know, he's in the house trying to have a normal life. And then all of a sudden you see that he gets kidnapped. So once he's kidnapped, you see that he goes to a certain place, they tell him, that he has the opportunity to become a superhero. And then guess what we see on the screen? The TVA. If you haven't watched Loki the series, you probably want to watch it because you will see the TVA comes from that series. So you'll understand how the timelines tie together and how there's different universes, the multiverse, where you could see what's going to happen and how things could change up. So this makes it even more exciting because we don't know which universe this Deadpool and this Wolverine are going to be from, but we can always speculate and try and guess and figure out which world it's coming from. Seeing that the TVA is in this trailer, that adds more intrigue to this movie as well because now you know that there's different timelines that this actual Deadpool and Wolverine can be from. So then now Marvel hopefully will recapture the audience with the failed movies that they had previous to this. We won't get into all of those, but we know that there's been some mishaps along the way that have caused them to have to rebound in a major way. But I think with Deadpool bringing in 365 million viewers on the trailer, which is the most ever for a movie trailer, might might just have a chance to save the Marvel Universe and bring everything back together. And why not do it with two of your strongest characters, Deadpool and Wolverine? I'm excited to see how this turns out with the X-Men and how everything ties together. And we know it's going to be action-packed. We know it's going to be a lot of witty banter. We know that there's going to be a lot of ass-kicking. We know it's just... It's going to be a great movie. I just don't see this movie flopping. And if it does, you guys feel free to come back and talk trash to me because I, I just can't see it happening. <laughs> Thus far in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the MCU, we have not seen Wolverine and Deadpool work together, nor have we seen Deadpool as an X-Men. But now it looks like this is going to be the time where this starts to unveil how this situation can come together. Deadpool and Wolverine is set to release on July 26th, so that gives us multiple months of anticipation to really be prepared for when this movie comes out. Do you plan on seeing it on the first day that it drops or are you going to wait a little bit? I can't imagine that people are going to wait. I will be the first one there and if I get a chance or an opportunity to possibly see it in advance, I'll be there even before that. So you guys stay tuned for my review when the movie does officially drop because I will make sure that I jam pack it with things that you guys are interested in. Also, how do you feel about the fact that Disney and Fox actually kept Deadpool as a rated R movie instead of changing it to PG-13 or some other kind of crap. We all know that Deadpool deserves to be rated R and it needs to be rated R because of how he acts and what type of character he is. Ryan Reynolds has been an excellent Deadpool from the first film to the second film to now I can only imagine that he's going to crush Deadpool 3. And he portrays Deadpool in a way that you wouldn't imagine when you watch previous films from Ryan Reynolds because he usually is like a nice guy, Mr. Sweetie guy. In this, he has really good humor and he plays dark well in the action scenes. The way that he fights and, you know, kills the people, pulls the swords out, uses the guns, slow motions on the clips, things like that. You just wouldn't have expected that Ryan Reynolds would be such a great version of Deadpool. I, I can't imagine who would have done it better than him now that I've seen him as Deadpool. And then Wolverine, Hugh Jack Jackman is just nice. Just the way that he does his whole thing, the accent that he has from being from Australia, it's amazing. And 
his physique. This dude knows how to get in great shape. He's done this, what, four times now, five times? I, I wouldn't see him as any other character. And I love the way that the two of them look like they're going to fit together. What characters do you think are going to be unveiled in this movie? And what do you think some of the Easter eggs might be or the mid credits that we may be surprised to see? Do you have any ideas of what could be in this movie? Because as of right now, I want to see how this X-Men thing is going to tie together. X-Men needs to be in the Avengers. It's been long enough. We need X-Men and the Avengers. We need to get this done now, immediately. Come on, Marvel. <laughs> and it's wild that Hugh Jackman has played Wolverine for over 20 plus years. That just tells you how much he embodies the role of Wolverine and why it's very hard to replace him. When have we seen Deadpool with hair? So it's funny to see him with this hair in this particular trailer and then something happens to the hair and then he goes back to the Deadpool that we know. <laughs> Deadpool says in the trailer, your little cinematic universe is about to change forever. That's the best bit of news that we've received since the Marvels dropped. So hopefully it stays true to that and I have high hopes that it will not fail us because they have not before with this movie. Do your thing. You guys got this. Deadpool proclaimed himself as the Marvel Jesus and at this point he might literally have to walk on water to carry the franchise back to his once great relevance and get this ship righted so that we can all be excited like we used to be. After he deems himself as Marvel Jesus, that just lets me think that now he's going to be switching over from being this assassin that's against whoever and whatever and a bad guy and freelance worker to now becoming an Avenger and becoming that guy that we all know Deadpool to be to where we're still going to get all of his craziness but maybe just maybe he's going to turn a new leaf and he will save Marvel. Who knows? The cinematography, the special effects, and the visual style of Deadpool is definitely something that we've been lacking for a few years and we need it back ASAP. You can just tell that this movie is going to be a hit. We've seen so many behind the scenes of Deadpool and Wolverine practicing their fight scenes and things like that. So we know that this one is going to be a great movie for anybody that's into Deadpool, Marvel, comic book movies, action movies, everything. It's going to cover all fan bases. We're back. They were also smart in this trailer to only show us the shadow of Wolverine, so it keeps us anticipating when he first touches that screen. You'd see Deadpool land on the ground, and all of a sudden you just see a shadow with the hair coming in, and then here comes the Admantium Claws. Just, we know it's coming. This is going to be a great balance of humor and darkness because we know Wolverine is more of a serious tone character, and we know Deadpool is not serious at all, but he does have a serious side for maybe about 30 seconds, and then back to not being serious again. So this is going to be a fun balance of the way that they interact with each other and how the fight scenes unfold, what's going to happen in one direction. How does the TVA tie into the whole situation with it? Who's going to win the battle? What's going to happen at the end? We don't know. The great part about having the two different styles of characters, this will tie in a broader audience, which already has been shown just by how many people have watched the trailer. 365 million people have watched it. So we know that this is going to be a film that a lot of people are engaged in. You're going to get the older Marvel fans that want to watch it. You're going to get the newer, younger fans that want to watch it. This should be a great rebound for Marvel. We know this one has to hit home. What other Marvel movies do you think that Deadpool and Wolverine will tie together in the MCU? Right now, we know for sure Loki's going to be part of it. We know that there's going to be something related to the Marvels because we got Beast at the end of the Marvels that was in the alternate universe, and that's X-Men. So from there, those two kind of tie together, and then now we got to see how they tie in the rest of the films. This will kind of dictate what direction they go in, leading us to that next Avengers movie that we're going to be expecting in 2025. I have nothing but excitement for this film. I don't really have any concerns that they're going to mess it up because as I said, I completely loved both Deadpool movies that have already came prior and I love the way that Ryan Reynolds portrays him. So I don't see too many ways that they can mess this film up for us as Marvel purists that love these films. It's, it's just going to be a good movie, period, point blank. No other way to look at it. And if it's not, come back and find me in the comments. Fire me up. I have no problem with the critics. Feel free to share your thoughts with me in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about this new Deadpool and Wolverine and what other movies do you think it's going to tie into and how will this affect the MCU as a overall universe? Do you think they're back? Because I feel like they're back. Tell me your observations, your expectations, and what theories you think will happen and what direction they're going to take this. Stay tuned because I plan on doing a review of this movie as soon as it drops. I have the Madam Web review coming now if you have not already tuned in. Thanks, Splashers. Catch you guys on the next one.